Hello guys, in this video I am just going to explain how to reset your PS5 controller when it is not pairing to PS5 console. Even right if it is not pairing to PC, I mean uh, this controller is not identified through this Bluetooth accessories in mobile or uh, PC, even PS5 console. So we can reset it. Once you reset right, automatically uh, it will be identified. So that's what I am going to explain. In order to reset the PS5 controller right, if you have this mobile pin just use it. And before that we should shut down the PS5 console, we should turn off. If we have only one controller, then how to turn it off. To shut down temporarily, I am going to use this keyboard. So keyboard will work. So I am going to connect. So keyboard, I am going to connect it. Yes, it's connected. So here you can see the symbol. Keyboard is connected, right? So you can see this symbol. So now I'm going to do the shutdown. Backspace. So in keyboard, we need to go to this profile. Okay. Here we have to go to logout. And simply press enter. And now you can see this options shutdown. So I'm selecting it using enter button and turn off. So we need to turn it off. PSP console is successfully turned off. Now we can use this pin on backside, right? Uh, on your PSP controller backside, you can see this tiny hole. So this is the reset options. So here we are going to reset it. We need to hold uh, three to five seconds. Okay. We need to hold, we need to press and hold three to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, okay, taking, taking the pin out. So now what we need to do is we need to connect with the PSP console. So we need to use wire. So this is the wire I'm going to connect it to PlayStation console. So, so it is attached to console and then controller. Once connected, right? Press the power button on your PSV console. Okay. Press the power button on your PSV console. Super cool is charging. Press the PS button. So I'm going to press this PS button. Super cool. It's connected. So now I can remove this USB type C wire. So now I can use without USB wire. That's it friends. This is the way you can reset your PSP controller when it is not pairing. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please put a comments and feedback in my dear forms. Thank you. Bye and take care.